What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new sneaker shopping vlog here in Manila, Philippines. We're here at the uh, the BHC, Beneficial High Street or BGC, and we're gonna do some sneaker shopping here as we do in every single country. And we're gonna see what sneakers are sitting on the shelves. Here in Manila, the sneakers that will be sitting on shelves are gonna be quite different compared to what's available in Canada and America. So I like doing these kind of vlogs to show you guys through some like window shopping what sneakers they have here. So we're gonna hit up a couple of really, really big stores here in BGC. They have Titan, they have Adidas, they got the new Nike store, they got Soul Academy, and I think Athlete's Foot. So I think there's five stores. If you guys make it to the very end, there's also a Babe sneaker giveaway. So make sure you guys watch until the very end for that Babe sneaker giveaway. With that said, let's hit up the very first store, Adidas. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at the basketball selection that they have. You guys know I'm not a basketball sneaker channel, but I do want to show you guys what they have here. So if you are in Manila, Philippines, if you're in the BGC area, you can just uh, do some shopping through me. You don't have to make the trip down here. So here's what is available. You have a brand new gray and purple colorway of the Adidas Alpha Bounce right here. Here's a look at the Ultra Boost selection that they have here. They have this new like gray and teal colorway available. They also have this really clean olive and white colorway. This is probably one of my favorites that they've released so far. Here's a look at a few more. These ones will pop for the spring and summer with that gray and really loud hit of orange. Not really gray, it's like a beige. It's a beige and orange shoe. And then here's a look down below at some more of the Ultra Boost that they have. They have this really, really colorful one here too with the four different colors on the toe box of the Prime Knit. These are cool. These right here are really nice. There's like a maroon and a white colorway. I've not seen this pair before. These are going for 8,900 pesos and all these prices guys will have tax included so just a heads up if they seem a little bit higher the tax is in the price already so do keep that in mind but this maroon and white colorway really really clean here is a look at the woman's selection for the running shoes nothing too crazy that really really stands out to me i do like these though these are pretty cool these are some solar boost right here gray and teal color scheme not too bad these are going for six thousand five hundred pesos here's a look at the adidas originals sneakers they have a bunch of boost you wears they have this like navy blue colorway right here they also have an Oreo colorway, looking pretty fresh. We also have a black with a yellow tongue. That's a little different. We also have a couple of Adidas Young Ones. They have this colorway. They have this colorway, which I actually showed you guys on the channel. Here's a look at the Nike Runners that they got. They have the yellow with navy blue, the gray with red. Pretty solid for this pair. And then they have the uh, NMDs. I actually reviewed these on Sneaker Talk 365, my second channel. So make sure you guys check out that review if you haven't already. And this is pretty cool. They have an NMD R1 with that old school kind of look. And then over here, we have a couple colorways of the Adidas Night Jogger. We have the uh, mainly white one right here. Not too bad for spring and summer. Here's one with hits of purple on the very back and those three reflective hits on those three stripes. And then we have that nice suede on the toe box and on the side panel. And then they also have another one here, but the hits of like blue and purple are basically on the outsole and the stitching. While on this pair, it's more loud on the very back of the shoe. So the next store on our list is Athlete's Foot. Let's go inside and check it out. Now again, this is basically like the Foot Locker of the Philippines. Maybe one day they'll have a Philippines Foot Locker. I know they have one in Singapore, but I really haven't seen a Foot Locker in Asia outside of Singapore. But maybe one day Foot Locker will expand to the Philippines. So for now, let's check out Athlete's Foot. So I'll give you guys a tour of the men's section from left to right. First up, we have a bunch of the Nike Cortez selection. So they have all the classic force gums right here. We also have a couple of Reeboks here too and a few different colorways. A look at the New Balance. No 997Hs that I can find, unfortunately. And then over here, we have the Adidas Originals. So we got some EQT 9118s, I believe. Sort of like an all white colorway with the boost on the bottom. Pretty fresh. Here's a couple more colorways. They have a gray colorway. They got a black colorway. And probably one of my favorites right here, too. They also have all the classics, of course, like the Adidas Superstars, Shell Toes. We have the Continentals here as well. The Stan Smiths. Onto the Nike selection. We got some Air Max 270s and a couple of different colorways. Really, really like this pair right here. 
We'll continue on with the rest of the Air Max 270s. We got some Vapor Maxes down below here too. In this corner, we have all the Air Maxes. So we have the uh, Vapor Max Plus right here with that black and green colorway. We got some new colorways of the Air Max 97s. Not too bad. Yellow, navy, blue. A lot of different colors and materials on this Air Max 97. Pretty fresh. We also have a simple sort of gray and white color scheme. We have an all black. Down below, we have an Air Max 98 color scheme I've not seen before and they don't seem to have too many Air Max 720s here but they do have a purple colorway and then they do have that like scaly green one that Full Locker gifted me. Here's a look at the uh, Element React 55 selection that they have. A couple of different colorways, not as many colorways as other locations I've seen. Here's a look at the Air Jordan selection that they have. Nothing too crazy yet. Brand new Air Jordan 11 low release with the snake skin on the upper instead of patent leather. Ooh, we got the Air Jordan 4 breads right here. This is probably the best sneaker they have here today. These are unfortunately though a size uh, size 13. Size 13 pair of the bread for us. The last one they have in the store. What happened to the tag? The tag looks a little messed up. Looks like somebody might have scratched or uh, rubbed on the, uh, the side of this Nike Air. But uh, yeah, really clean pair. I did miss out on a size 10 because I was abroad traveling and just cannot seem to find my size. But uh, yeah, Air Jordan 4 breads here at Athlete's Foot. Now the really convenient thing about shopping at BGC is that a lot of these sneaker stores are very, very close to each other. So even though it's hot and humid in the Philippines, it's still a convenient walk, I wanna say, going from one location to the other. So we got Titan right behind me, but then Athlete's Foot was all the way back there, and then Adidas is all the way in the back corner. So let's go inside of Titan right now and see what they have. Now the really cool thing about Titan is they also have a barber shop here too, so I might have to get a fresh little trim. So here is a look at Titan. We're right in the middle of the store. So we have the Adidas on the right, and then we have the Jordans on the left. So we'll first take a look at the Adidas sneakers, and then we'll head over to the Jordans in just a moment. They have a little bit more selection in terms of basketball shoes than the actual Adidas store. And they also have a couple of Under Armors and Steph Curry's mixed into the bunch. Over here we have more Adidas basketball. And uh, yeah, now let's check out the Jordan side. Looks like they have quite a few sizes left for the Air Jordan 11 low snakeskins. This is cool. They have a Tracy McGrady Raptors jersey. Throwback purple with the red and the gold. Here is a look at the Jordan selection they have here at Titan. So pretty much the same stuff as Athlete's Foot, but they do have the bread fours and what looks like maybe smaller sizing. So I'll, I'll take a look in a second, see if they have a size 10. But they do have the bread fours. They have the 11s that hit the outlets all over America. They also got these ones that just came out. This is surprising to see these ones are still sitting. However, this is a size uh, 13. And then here's a look at the other Air Jordans that they have. They have those like Laney or Michigan 5s. Yeah, the Michigan 5s. And then this is the rest of the Jordans. Here is a look at the other Nike and LeBron sneakers they have at Titan. And check it out. They have the new Hot Lava LeBron 16s right here. Inspired by the AirTech Challenge 2 Andre Agassi Hot Lava. I love the colorway on this shoe, but the overall shoe together, I just, I can't. This is an easy pass for me. I would much rather cop the original AirTech Challenge 2s, which I can't seem to find in the Philippines yet. Here's also a look at some of the LeBron retros that they've just come out with. We have the white and navy blue ones. We also have a really clean black, white, and red colorway. I think these are the LeBron 3s. Not entirely sure. I'm not a LeBron head, so please don't shoot me if I'm wrong. If anything, Jason Donor is your guy for LeBrons, but I'll throw those back. And they also have the uh, Air Force One low snake skin. Really, really clean. I actually bought a pair from Commonwealth on release day, so you guys can expect a review very soon on my second channel, Sneaker Talk 365. And you know what? We do have some time before we have to meet up with Carlo, and we're also going to check out the Nike store and Soul Academy in a second, but I figured since we're here and I'm getting a little little duddy with my hair and my, my little facial hair going on here, I should get a uh, cut and trim real quick. So let's get freshened up at Titan and then we'll continue our sneaker shopping. All right, so I just finished up at Titan. We got some subscribers behind me as well. And uh, the second I finished my haircut, they were like outside waiting for a selfie. So that was pretty cool. Mad love to all the Filipinos out here. 
But next up, we're gonna go to Seoul Academy and then we're gonna go to the Nike store. So now we're going into Seoul Academy at BGC. Let's see uh, what they have sitting on the shelves. So starting off in the New Balance selection, there really isn't too much that's catching my eye. This is also a mixture of like the women's shoes too. So we have a couple colorways of the Nike Cortez here like the OGs. We also got this like beige, blue, and orange colorway, and a classic black and white. Over here at the Nike selection, we have a bunch of the uh, Air Max shoes all available. The Vapor Max Plus on the top shelf, a few colorways of those. We got some Air Max 270s and some Air Max 97s. I really like these. These really remind me of like the silver bullet colorway. We got some Air Max Deluxe here too in that black and red colorway. A couple of colorways of the Air Max 720s also available and some Air Max 1s, so really clean colorway for the spring and summer of these air max ones these are the air max light uh the one so i know the air max crazy light too i haven't seen the ones before so these are funky then they have another colorway of the air max lights as well pretty fresh we got some shocks down here i have not used to seeing nike shocks in these kind of stores so that's cool they have this one colorway then they have another colorway here in the back here's a look at the uh, air force one lows that they have they have the premium versions here as you guys can tell with that very rich tumbled leather versus their regular uh regular plasticky kind of leather we also have this one here which has like a beige uh, swoosh on the side mm, they're, they're okay i prefer the uh the all white version which one do you guys like more the uh, all white one or the one with the beige swoosh. Let me know what the poll in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. They have two colorways of the uh, the Presto Reacts right here as well. The beige and then the black and red. And then they have some Air Force Ones down below at the bottom right hand corner. Navy blue with the extra branding on the midsole. We got the, uh, the Forest Camo in white and they also have the Forest Camo in green. They have two of the best Pumas out there at the moment, just sitting on this little like mirror thing on display. They got the Puma RSX Adder Error, easily my favorite RSX. I've talked about this many times on the channel. And then they also have that Puma Hyun or Hyun collab, the uh, Korean pop idol to collab with Puma. And it sort of gives off these like Gucci kind of vibes because it's that creamy beige mixed in with the red and green. In the very back of the store, we have all the night joggers that they have. And they don't really have any exclusive colorways to Seoul Academy, which is a bit disappointing. Here's a look at the Adidas original selection. They have a bunch of boost and non-boost sneakers ranging from the, uh, the ZX500 RM to the Adidas Young One, Young 96. You also got the Continental 80s, of course some Maniki runners and these are some old school looking Adidas. These are like really, really old school looking. These are like straight out of the 80s or 90s. Here's a look at more of the Adidas shoes on the other side of the store. These are pretty cool. NMD CS ones with this like this diagonal print on the side of the boost. Not used to seeing any kind of print like that on the boost before, so that's very, very interesting. I don't really like the red collar here though. I could get rid of that and have it all black. They got the Sobokov boost here too. Pretty ugly in my opinion. These are not bad. NMD R1 racers with that same print that's on the midsole of this pair, but it's pretty much on the uh, the toe area of the upper on this shoe. And they also have a few colorways of the Ultra Boost 19, but nothing we haven't seen before. So well, let's get going. Now on to the final store for our sneaker shopping vlog at BGC. We have the Nike store. Now apparently they have some heat sitting here. Carlo told me about last night, so I'm hoping it's still here, but let's check it out. Last time we were here was for the grand opening. So if you guys want to see that vlog, check it out. I'll leave it linked down below or it'll be that pop-up card in the top right-hand corner. With that said, let's get inside.
If you guys made it to the end of the video and want to enter the Bape sneaker giveaway, drop a comment down below letting me know your favorite sneaker you guys saw in today's video and include your Instagram username and hit that thumbs up button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram for another entry for the Bape sneaker giveaway. And for more videos like this, check out either of the videos on screen right now. The last video is on the left side of the screen. On the right side, we actually have a sneaker shopping battle with Carlo we filmed right after this video. Damn.